Done a cat, Dragon Ball do rag, yeah. man. Dragon Ball do rag, man. Man, done the cat, man. Hey, her album just came out by like at least two weeks ago, man. Go cop that right there, man. That, that's that's a nice little smooth album, man. Something you chill out, light some candles, drink a little wine. Bob, that's too, something man. you do too, man. I like that. I like that. Joke. Yeah, man. That bad boy was good, man. That, that's a real dope little vibe right there, man. I I, I play that bitch like at least. 30 times a day, man, before I get started <laughs> with my day. Yeah, man. So, you know, everybody going out there, doing what they do, man. It's crazy how the coronavirus hit, man. And people, like, had these restrictions in, like, a week. And then the next week, you live a regular life, man. So, like, you know, either you're going to be down with it or you're not going to be down with it, man. Do your thing, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man. So, what's been going on with you, Tarzan? Shit, man. Just chilling. Doing my thing, man. Right. Making music with you. <laughs> yeah, hey. That's what it is, man. You know, music with we you, quarantined man. because I'm around the same circle every fucking day. So, yeah, man. My circle don't have that virus. So, oh, I can man. hang out that and circle. Shout out to all, like, you know, gas station peoples, man. The 7 Eleven's really been helping. Yeah, man. hey, hey. Like, yo. They, more, they important, too, just like the nurses are and the hospital people yo, are. For real, man, for they, real. For real. Hey, them pizzas. Are like seven dollars and six cent, man. Get you one, yeah, man. Yeah, for real, bro. They good, bro. Like lunchtime, bro. You split that with a homie, man. Man, hey, we trying to get that out there, City Creek and Bass Shop and everything, man. We trying to get that Seven Eleven, man. We Seven Eleven is very necessary, man. Twenty four seven, get you a pizza, drinks, everything. Twenty four seven, man. A lot of places be closed, man. You can't get Hell, that stuff after there. the coronavirus shit going down. I think I'm gonna still be probably going there to get my pizza, bro. Hey, it's good and it's I, cheap. I get my pizza that, to this man. day. We work, and they cook know? it there. They cook it there right in front of you. Take like a minute or two. Only take like two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes to cook the pizza. One hundred and twenty seconds. They got a badass oven, man. That Come cooks on. that shit in two minutes, man. So yeah, man. You know. I'll be right back. You good? Keep going. Yeah, yeah. You Gucci, man. Um, don't shit on yourself. But yeah, man, you know, a lot of stuff been going on, man. The coronavirus and shutdown, you know. Shout out to the people who ain't, who don't got essential jobs, man, you know. You know, it's hard staying at home and everything, man. And, yeah, um, for real. I hope y'all got the stimulus check, man. But at the same time, us motherfuckers that do got to go to work, man, we still at risk, too. So, everything's coping steady, man, you know. Smooth, man. I mean, but yeah, man, uh... Yeah, R.I.P. to the ones that lost their life during this tragedy, or, uh, you know. Yeah, man, everybody's hey. Everybody's doing all right, man. Internet going crazy with the loved ones that passed away with the coronavirus. They be good. Like, I was talking to my mom. Me personally? I was talking to my mom just yesterday, man. She said um, it's a woman who lost her husband. And after the husband died, her son died three days later. Oh, he was shit. good at the house playing basketball, doing his thing. He just turned 20. Mm-hmm. Three days he passed away, man. That's Same thing with the Metro drivers, man. Like, you know, my dad's a Metro driver. A lady was in the back seat of the bus coughing and shit. And he was telling him, hey, I need to stop coughing and cover your mouth. Three days later, he died. Man. So, when it comes down to it, man, the coronavirus can kill you within three days. You don't hear people saying that stuff, man. Like, you can be fine and everything, but three days later, you'll pass away, man, just off this virus. And yeah, man, hey, it's crazy. Oh yeah, man, hey, we just started doing this podcast, episode one, man. Episode one, baby. Episode one, man. So you know, man, that's pretty tight. We're quarantining and everything. We're standing in the house. Yeah, man, standing in the house, man. He been yeah. medicated. Medication, uh, Get music, your, everything, man. And they saying, hey, you know, you heard the thing about police. Three M's. Police ain't they not pulling nobody over. They saying like. Hey, so like, hey, child, I don't believe that, bro. They you know, you, can, you can get your hustle on right now, bro, and the police is not gonna fuck with you just because they so scared of the virus. And I'll tell you something. Yeah. Uh, police pull you over, man. Just 
They don't drive the fuck away. Hey, hey, they be they be in like the intercom. They be like, yeah, throw your goddamn license out the car. Yeah, <laughs> hey, can you put your license on the back of your hood? And I can, <laughs> hey, they 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 doing some funny stuff nowadays, oh, man. Shit. Like it's crazy. That Donald Trump saying stuff gonna be over on Easter. He said, hey, everybody should go to that's church why, on Easter. That's why I really don't, like, kind of believe, like, that it, 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 it is coronavirus. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I mean, it, it might be, but, like, at the same time, I also got a feeling, like, why why do they have, like, specific dates and times when it's like, it's like a parent telling a child, like, you better be in the house before that light come on. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's like that. And it's like. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because um, like, he just came out, like, it, it just like, came out with a quarantine. And what he said specifically for the quarantine, he said, it's a game changer. And before he did that, man, he had a thing where he was like, hey, everything should be good by Easter day. So that way everybody can go to church and do their thing. And I was like, damn, how this motherfucker, how he so, how he so sure about it? You know, how he knows Easter. Easter, oh yeah. How he, he's Jesus specific rose, about that. Jesus he, he's, Jesus he's rose real, Jesus died. He's real like, specific. Donald nah. Trump's real specific nah. what he says, you know? Come on. I mean, I these know. are government type of people, man. So, you know, you never know, bro. They know more than, he should know more. You know, the nigga go to Area 51, he got the government, he got information, man. Ain't no telling. This dude just came out with a quarantine. The quarantine is not a specific quarantine, but like, it killed like at least 10 people, you know? It gave him like rapid heartbeat. Yeah. People was passing away for the vaccine that he, that he said was a game changer. And, that's what's going on, you know. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not a person who sits behind the news and watch everything go on, but I can pick up here and there and information like little yeah. this and little that, you know. I don't really spend all my time watching the news and worrying myself, you know. So, I just that's just little information I got. And if y'all do have some information, man, Shit. post on the comment below yeah, this man. video and let me know what you think. Post, and man. let let us um, yeah, give everybody back. information, man. Let's spread information out, man, because we're quarantining. We'll come back, coming back to your shit. Yeah, too, yeah, man. most definitely. We will coming back, and I hope y'all coming back with each other, not just because of this video, but come, you know, share yeah, information yeah, yeah. with each spread, other. Spread spread information. That's one thing, bro. Look, I I listen to a lot of uh, NPR news, man, and like BB. BBC News and shit. Pause. I don't know what none of that shit is, bro. It's, it's just, man. Pretty much it's just like shit that's telling you. It's a radio station. They stations. You know what I'm saying? You know, you bumping your car while you riding to work, man. It's just, they kind of inform you what's going on in the world and shit, man. Most so, definitely. Most definitely, so, man. And, and this dude, it was like they had a novelist on there or whatever. I forgot his name. I can't tell you right now. I forgot his name right now. But anyway... He was pretty much just saying uh, they had got on the topic of racism and stuff, and they were like, well, he didn't believe that, you know, back in the day when we were all, you know, Neanderthals and stuff like that, like caveman type mm -hmm. of people, like, there wasn't no racism, even though we did have different hues, you know, different different uh, skin color. Yeah. But, um, but the thing is, he had that theory just because... Everywhere you go around the world and you dig up, you know, you can find, like, everywhere, ancient places in the world, anywhere. Like, on the U.S. soil, whatever, all these different, like, you know, what was back then. You can find pottery. You can find spearheads. You can find, you know, bowls, like, look, all around the world. And that only means that people share knowledge from, like, if a tribe finds out something, they're going to go to the next tribe and tell them like, hey, yeah. try this. They did have that, and that's not what happens no more. But man. when it came when it came down to that, man, they changed religion with that. Like when people went to, um, like you know, Egypt, yeah, and they went to like another land, they'll bring their religion over there and kill all them about if you wasn't believing the religion. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I forgot, shit, man. I studied that, that shit stuff. Still happens. I studied that stuff a long time ago, man. I'm not really specific happens, on how that, you know, but that's what happened though. Like that's how religion started changing. Yeah, I was just more or less people just go saying, to a like, different people go to a different was, area and wipe out people who wouldn't believe in their religion and make it their own religion. That's how religion was going about. Yeah, but I yeah. just more or less 
you know, off yeah. the religion type. I'm just more or less saying, like, a lot of people, you know, if they have information, they want to hold it instead of sharing it with the people. Like, man, never show. Oh, yes. I mean, never be too scared, that's man. The same like, if thing you have nowadays. something that's, that works for humanity. Yeah, you see what happened. You, know what what I mean? you see what happened with the Jim Jones case. You know, a lot of people know the rapper Jim Jones, but he got his name from this dude from California who had this religion, and he made people commit, over thousands of people commit suicide yeah. over the religion. And. He wiped out a lot of people just because of the religion and had people like, hey, if you do this, it's the same thing um, with religion overseas. You know, like, hey, if you commit suicide and you die for what you believe in, you can have 30 wives in heaven. It's like 70. It's like 70, 74. Yeah. It's like something like that. But like, hey, don't let, don't let that stuff stop you from living your day and day and day and do what you do every day. And yeah, man. With hey, your loved ones. I respect everybody's religion. But hey. You know? If you believe in what you believe in, man, believe in it, man. Yeah, and if that's it makes you a do. better person, makes you a better you, person. Do what you do, man. But never critique or judge anybody else yes. for whatever they yes. believe in. Because if it makes them a better person, you know. Correct. I feel like a lot of people don't understand, man. Like, yo, a lot of people put a lot of faith in the messenger. Yes. You know what I mean? Never the message. Every, I feel like me personally, everybody say the same shit in every, mm -hmm. every script. Either, either that's Bible, Quran, Torah, you know. You know the the, the scrolls, yeah. You know the the Hebrews and stuff. Hey, hey! Shout out to my boy Shamaz up there, man. Up there in New York and um, got down up north wherever you're living at, man. Hey, I hope everything's going smooth and swell for y'all, man. That message yeah. is do unto others as you would want to be done unto you. You yes. know, treat everybody most definitely, man. With the same level of like respect. Hey, you man. should never judge nobody because right. you never know what somebody's going through, man. It's unless crazy. you live their life. You know, back when I was younger, man, like when I was in school, I used to like see somebody's like face and I would not like them off of that. Like, you know, just be like, I don't feel like I, I don't I, like I don't I don't like you. I just felt like that. Oh, just because you look at somebody, you be like, man, I don't like the way I don't you like, look. I, don't, I just don't like you. <laughs> and uh, like you, years go down and man, that like be you, best you, friends. You never know. You, you know never. So you, you look at somebody, know. you look at somebody and be like, man, I don't know. like you because the way you look. Yeah, yeah, it used to be just, man, you know. And hey, it's crazy, I believe that, man, because I had people I didn't like in high school, I had people who didn't like me in high school, and, that's recent, and we ended up being best about. friends to this day. Yeah. Like, I call them, I check on them, how they doing, not just call them just because something going on, I call them, hey, what's going on, bro, you know, we over here making music, we over here working, we going home, you know, everything's good. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't just call somebody, man, just be like, just because you hear some new news. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or her, he got beat up, or her, he died. Oh, I heard this. I heard that. You should call somebody and be like, "Hey, man, how's your day going? How's everything going?" Well, all right, that's good, man. We should link up soon. I miss you, man. You know, I miss your energy. Let's link up. Let's, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it should be. But nowadays, man, ain't nobody finna fool with you, man. Unless you have some new news, or you got some money, or you got something going on, or you know, you know, it should be off of just. Man, imagine if money never existed, man. And like, it didn't, imagine man. If money never existed, and you would have nothing but your heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like nowadays, it's funny, man. So like, what's what, what you been what you been listening to nowadays, man? What kind of music you been listening to? Shit, me, shit, shit, ours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, besides nah, our music, nah, you know, nah. we make music every day, man. Nah, so like, yeah, yeah, nah. I you? just I just been listening to a lot of our shit, bro. But aside of that. Man, you, you know, man, I listen to a lot of, like, man, old shit, bro. I listen to a lot of old shit, so I kind of been bouncing around between just, you know, <clears throat> like, you know, shit. Eddie James, lately I've been playing a lot, man. Eddie James? Eddie James, yeah. yeah, you know, uh, shit. She was live, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she is live, but she's a little younger, you know, if I was, I yeah. wish I was a little... Shit, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Shit, man, I've been on that damn, I've been on that damn Dunderkat, <laughs> yeah. that Dragon Ball do rag. Yeah, that's been my vibe. Right. Dunderkat, that's, right. that's my shit right even there, that, man. Even that, old I'm on that, I'm on that, um, that yeah. new Slim Thug that just came out, Thug Life. Oh, yeah. Y'all go check that out. It's on YouTube on all platforms. I've been jamming out to that, um, that Zero, that Quarantine, Social Distancing. Hey, that Shife, it goes hard, man. Check that out. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I don't even like, oh. Go ahead with your shout outs. Man. <laughs> uh, but, but, I mean, that was really basically it. I but, mean, that's hey, what I've been on. All right, man. You was telling me earlier. Okay. A song 
that zero has. Uh huh. Which one was that? He was like, can't get no deeper than that. Ah oh, shit. Oh no, that was last night. That was last night. Yeah, what song was that, man? Um, uh, oh, you know what? I was basically saying like, hey, man, if you're gonna fall to a depression level, if you're gonna sound sad, that's why I have a big deal about that, man. Like a lot of artists out there is rapping about their guns, how they're gonna kill somebody. How they gonna do this Stop and do that? Stop that shit, man! And how they gonna get Stop to this level? Shit, Cause y'all not gonna do that shit. Bro. Hey, how they gonna get to this level and do all that type of stuff, man? But like, hey, man, if you can't make a song more depression than zero, don't even waste your time, man. You know, like trade zero is the bottom of the bottom of depression as you can get. I mean, you know, Jordan Lucas, that ADHD was a good ass. CD man, that motherfucker right there. I'll go to the record store and buy that on vinyl. It was that good, you know. I never heard somebody come out their heart as much as yeah, they did with that ADHD you know. man. He had skits on there, man, that people had back in 1990s, like two early 2000s. Like people don't make skits no more, bro. Right, for real, for real. I mean, you hear skits, but they be some bullshit ass skits. This skit was actually heart touching, you know. Yeah. So y'all go check out that um, Joyner Lucas, ADHD. That's a good CD right there, man. Yeah, man. You can tell, you can tell, old boy has stuff on his mind when he made that CD. He even had Chris Tucker on the skit, man. Chris Tucker actually got on that CD, man. Actually made a skit for him, man. You know, about ADHD. He's like, my grandparents got ADHD. My grandma got ADHD. That don't mean you should sit on your couch and fucking be lazy. Be lazy. Don't be lazy for well, I never shit, got man. that though, cause if you got ADHD, you you are excited and you're always like hyper. So. Hey man, <laughs> hey, you know er, nowadays, man. Every, nowadays, man. Everybody got some medication <laughs> for how lazy they are or what they can't accomplish. Yeah, 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 and they, people got. got that's so crazy, man. America will give you a check for anything bro, nowadays. People got man. so much shit to lean on nowadays, bro. It's ridiculous. America man. will man. give you a check for anything nowadays, shit. man. You be like, hey, man, I'm a sorry motherfucker, bro, and I can't do shit, bro. America's like, oh shit, you a sorry motherfucker? I'm gonna give you a check, man. Make you a better person. You know, hey, America's a motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? And um, okay. shit, man. How you? How you? Um, man. So like. Tell me about some local artists out here, man. You know some local artists out here in Austin, Bastrop, Elgin, wherever. Uh, you know, local whatever. artists, man, that I keep in my circle personally, that I like, I can rock with, man. Uh, shit. Number one, Skippy CeeLo. You know what I'm saying? Number two, two through Excuse me, five. Yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> two, two through five, man. Uh, Dylan. Dylan? Because I spit out fire. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> hey, check it out, man. Hey, y'all go um, join that boy who is chill. He just came out with a new joint, man. I forgot what the joint name was, you know, but he have another song called Culture, man. Go jam that on YouTube. Who is chill? No space. Just... All the same word. Who is chill? Hey, go hey, jam hey. out to um, that boy AY. Go jam out to that boy EC. Go jam out to that boy Young Row. Go jam out to that boy um, Goddamn. Oh, no, that man. boy Woody. DY oh, no, Music Man. man. Oh, go no. jam out to them boys. Hey, everybody. I ain't gonna every, say name, bro. But everybody make sure. out there. Everybody who out there who's making music for Austin, Texas, man. Man, bring that shit together, man. Everybody be wondering how um, SUC blew up. The reason SUC blew up, man, is because they all stuck together. Soldiers United for cash. Hey. Not just because of the personality, but for the cash. Hey, Put side the note, people bro. on. Side note. Side note. What's up, man? I don't know, man. Just when people be getting that money, man, just people be acting like assholes, bro. Let me tell you a story. Let me uh -huh. tell you a story. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. If you shouted out one of them cats, bro, and I, I just don't rock with him. Me personally, just because he's not a good, he's not humble, you know what I mean? And uh, that's one thing. Hold on, I ain't gonna. Well, say that's what it is, man. Speak your right, mind, man. But look, let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened. All right. Before I just tell you why, I'm just like yo. Let me tell you what happened. Yeah. Go ahead, bring it along, man. Not humble, man. So hey, so I'm working at Taco Bell, right? Taco Bell. Taco Bell and Bass Shop. All right. You know, I'm just getting my paper, man. Going to work, doing what I got to do. So we ran out of food. It's during South by. 
Yeah. South by uh, South by South. Yeah, yeah. So we busy, you know, everybody in and out of the city, even the, the out cities, you know, they they even busy because you know everybody from everywhere is coming there. Yeah. You know, this man pulls up to the speaker. Which man? I can't. I ain't gonna say, man. I ain't gonna say, man. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But just, it don't matter because any artist, every artist needs to be humble. I feel like. Yeah, that's most definitely. Every be an ass. Not even an artist, just humble. Be humble in general. in general. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, so pulls out order food. Yo, we have no. We got slammed, man. No food. No food. We gotta get everything out. You know, the motherfucking walk in. Which if y'all walk, you work fast food. You know what that is. Yeah. And uh, got to heat it up. Got to heat it up. None of the food is ready. Mm-hmm. So this guy decides to, you know what I'm saying, order his food. And it's, hey, I ain't going to lie, man. It was, it was taking a long time. Like, hey, I can, like, what you want me to do? Cut straight to the point, man. Anyway, man. So this dude gets out his car, comes up to the Taco Bell window. Yeah. Knocks on the window like, hey, man, I got somewhere I got to be. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't know who this dude is, bro, because I'm a, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, man. Shout out. Anyway, and, you know, so I just moved to the creek and shit. And I'm like, yo, I, bro, who the... Oh, so you was fresh I, in the city. Like, I'm about you to fresh, fucking... You was fresh in the city. You I'm was like, bro, anyway, bro, I'm getting my shirt to the point. So he, I'm like, I'm like, and, you know, the dude who had the headset on was a little high school cat, man, you know? Yeah. I'm like, bro, you going to talk to me like, you won't talk to me like that, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, with that, bro, you better get your ass back in that car, dog. And then I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, bro, even if we, we did, like, rush the order and stuff, you're going to say it's bad. And then you're going to complain, be like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Taco Bell trying to kill me, I'm sick, and all this and that. But then you want us to rush us, but, bro, we got to wait for the food, bro. So what, food ha- what, happened, what happened after he banged on the so, window? Okay, so, so I go over there, and I tell him, I'm like, sir, man, please just go back to your car, bro. But the whole time, I'm like, yo. This dude about to get it, man. Yeah. And then, so he's like, he like walks off, storms off like some little toddler. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and then like gets back in his car. His car is like five cars down, bro. I'm watching it, bro. Because that shit pissed me off. And mm-hmm. then I'm like, all right, whatever. And then serve this dude up. And I told the dude, I ain't going to tell his uh, headset name, Jesse, man. If you out there, man, Jesse, bro, that's my nigga, man, out there in Taco Bell Bastard. Best headset man out there, bro. Yeah. Real good dude. But anyway, I like Jesse, man. Let me let me give him his food, dog. So what happened after that? And he pulls up, he's like, he, as soon as he pulls up, cause I came out I came at him with that energy, bro, because I had a shitty night and I was like, man, I'm not having it, bro. Yeah. And, and he's like, he pulls up, he's like, yo, bro, I, I apologize, and I was just you know, trying to, I got, I got somewhere I got to go. I'm like, bro, I, I fucking crushed his fucking bag, his order, and I show that shit to him. I'm like, bro, have a nice day, man. Hey, but man, that hey. bag is all what needs hey. to be said. Bro. As long as he got his bag, though, right? He, he got, got his bag. bag. He got <laughs> that shit crumbled as up. As long as he got his bag, man. Too, but hey, you know? Like, man, Hey, man, on, you know, bro. sometimes, so basically with the subject, be man, humble. everybody got to be humble, man, this world. Because, man, you never be know what somebody's going through. That taco you never know what somebody got going on, man. And basically what I'm saying, be humble, man, because you never know when your life is on the line, man, because of what a person is going through that day. For he real, might be the man. nicest person that day, but this day he might wake up, his wife might have cheated on him, his I'm mom and dad probably died, yeah. and he's just waiting for somebody to push that button just so he can take you off this planet just because okay. of that day. But he's the nicest person in the world, but be humble, man. Hey, y'all be humble, man. Yeah, man. Humble. Hey, man. Cause, That's man. the word of the day. Hey, be <laughs> humble, man. Humble. Hey, so like, um, shit, man, with this virus going on and everything, man, you know. Yeah. Hey, motherfuckers don't know how to act, man. People got <laughs> people people got this Donald Trump check. I can't even scroll on Facebook looking at memes just because of people acting like they never received a check before. Y'all got $1,700, man. That shit going to be gone in goddamn two days. Y'all motherfuckers know out there. Oh, y'all essential the workers, man. Y'all essential workers out there, man. Hey, hey y'all know you ain't got man. no job. You know you got a bill to pay. I ain't gonna and you gonna spend that whole thing on your lie, bills, man. man. I'm, I'm gonna spend a little bit of it. I'm, I'm gonna spend like I'm gonna put like four hundred down on a, on a fifth Fifth Avenue, man. It's an eighty six. It's a classic. 
Come on. A typical Come motherfucker, on. right? Come on, that's, <laughs> that's what a you classic. expect to hear. Man, Throw put that shit. Your, hey, <laughs> you should put that shit in this bank, cause worse is gonna go worse, bro. It ain't getting no better. Donald Trump said hey, things man, gonna get better on Easter. I'm about man. to die, man. Run that shit up, no. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump said things gonna get easier, man, and things gonna get better. The numbers ain't no, doing nothing but going high and high and high and high. So it ain't getting better, man. Ain't nothing getting better. Yeah, for real, man. Hey, if y'all do, man, look. Save your money, man. Just Keep it in honest. the bank. Save you your money. You might not want to save the whole check, man. Because, look, look, we all human, bro. We all got vices. We all, you know, we do. We like to chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It might be some old lady and her vices going to Walmart every day. Yeah. Just to buy stupid shit. You know? But, hey, at the same but, time, though, hey. Save a little bit, if anything. Hey. Save half of it, at least. I have least never. And hey, you know what? I have never heard. And pay back who you need to owe. I never heard of nobody, bro, going like, um. Hey, goddamn, my cousin got the virus. My mama got the virus. You know, I never heard none of that in my life, bro. I just see what's on social media. But people that I know and people that they know, I have never heard, like, oh, my uncle got the virus. Oh, my, my sister got the virus. Oh, my daddy got the virus. Yeah. I ain't never heard of nobody in my surroundings about that. So, what I, my thoughts, I thought, like, hey, if you do go to the hospital and get tested, I feel like they are giving people the virus. That's what I feel like. Like, hey, how come I'm around all these motherfuckers who never went to the hospital and got tested? That's what they did to Easy e bro. When I mean, Easy e had... Man, Shook Knight did that stuff, man. Come on. That's what I'm saying. But, like... But, bro, he, they, he didn't have AIDS. Bro, they didn't... He, bro, he didn't have AIDS until... He it's, not even, it's not even he had AIDS, man. It's just how fast he died of AIDS. Because a person who gets AIDS, man, sometimes you will die eight years later or three years later, you know? But he died and got down within this certain amount of time. That's what Easy E. He died in a certain amount of time with AIDS, and if you do, bro, he didn't have AIDS until he went bro, look, to the check hospital. It out. They hey, man, shout him. out Vlad TV, they man. Injected him with go that check shit, out bro. Vlad TV, man, and go check out Easy E's son's Yo, interview that about out, that. Yo, Easy E's son will tell you like it's just crazy hey, how my son, Easy, man. how my dad if died. If you ever watching this shit, bro, shout out, man. We fuck with you, bro. Man, what look, man, we in Austin, Texas, man. man. People don't show Austin, Texas no love like that, man. Hey, man, you never know, <laughs> you never know who's watching, man. Hey, man, hey, go check that shit out, man, on Vlad TV, man. I watch Vlad TV, man, because Vlad, he gets straight to the cut, straight to the needy and greedy. And Joe Budden, he kind of take a long time to get to the fucking, to the main subject, man. Like, hey, I don't got time for that shit. Your Fuck shit, Joe Budden, I was like. <laughs> like, your shit two hours long, bro. Yo, shit, two hours long. Nah, and I gotta wait to do Joe. fifteen minutes for you, you to talk it, about the subject. <laughs> this nigga, hey, man, check that shit out, bro. Hey, man, and um, shit, go check out that Slim Thug, man, that Zero that just came out. All that shit popping right now. That Jordan Lucas ADHD. Yeah, yeah, man, check all. And that don't out, forget, man. check our shit out too. That man, bitch coming please. out soon too, man. That bitch coming out soon, man. We coming hey, man. out, man. We representing, bro. We we not only representing for you know Cedar Creek and Fayetteville, North Carolina, man. That's that's what you know. what I'm saying that's that's what we are, man. That's that's where we you know. It hey, is North Carolina, man. Straight up, man. What they got out there, Shout bro? Out, hey, man. Matter of fact, it's my boy's shirt, man. He made me instantly. You know what I'm saying? It's uh Devin. Man, fuck that. My boy D Tree, man. Get, hey. get our shit, bro. Hit me up. <laughs> Hit me up my DM. If you want that motherfucker, you feel me? Hey, man. We do front and back. And back. Pause. Baby. We do all that, man. So, look, check it out. Hit me up in my DM if you need any merch. Check it out. Or uh, if you even need your custom merch. I got you, man. Pajamas. I got you, man. And, um, shit. We finna wrap everything up, bro. And, uh, this episode one, man. We got plenty more. Y'all make sure y'all check out episode two. It's coming soon, man. We doing show, one show. every week, man. And y'all make sure y'all stay quarantined out there, man. And um, y'all be shit, blessed, hey, man. Be humble. Be, be humble, be humble, man. Humble and blessed, man. Peace. Already, man. Peace, peace, man.